This is Mason Plumley, rookie with the Nets, here with my GM, Billy King. Billy, just tell them why you decided to bring the team down here for training camp. I thought being here would be great. One, the facility is great. I wish I'd had this when I played. Maybe my jumper would have been a little better. But uh, And that's it. And basically, to come here and really be able to bond. And he wanted to keep me happy. <laughs> that was it, too. I wanted to make sure that you had your easy transition to the pros. I don't want to make it abrupt because, you know, leaving Duke is tough. Right, exactly. So. There you have it. We're happy to be here. We had a really good training camp and uh, looking forward to a good preseason. Um, just talk a little bit about the Duke family and what you miss about it and what you've, um, who you've been able to connect with coming back. Well, obviously it starts with Coach K and his family and Debbie and uh, Lindy and Jamie and Mrs. K. I mean, that really was the part of the family here. And then Dr. Kennedy, uh, chance to visit him, Mike Saab, Mike Craig, Jerry, uh, a lot of the same people that were here. And that really, when Coach K recruited me, it was about family. Uh, and Duke is still a big family, and, and, and for whether you're here or not here, you always get an email or Duke Planet or other ways to stay connected. Uh, when you were a player here at Duke, did you see yourself running an organization or a team like the Brooklyn Nets? No, not at all. I thought when I left here, I was either going to do TV or coach, and so I did TV, worked at WRL in Raleigh, and then the next year, I coached at Illinois State with Bob Bender, another Duke alum. And then and once I got into pros, I realized that you know, management was something I wanted to do. You, you got the TV voice. I didn't know you are on TV, but you could tell. <laughs> Mason Plumley here with Billy King, former defensive standout and captain of the Duke team back in the day. We're signing off.